Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and it's time for my June favorites. I have so many favorites this month. It's kind of been a weird month. I did do a bunch of pre-filming and took a couple weeks off of filming. I don't really want to get into it, but I had a really, <laughs> I had a really, really rough month. So I definitely appreciate everybody understanding when I'm not getting new launch things out like the day <laughs> that they announce them and that things are, you know, I'm taking a little bit of a slower pace. I'm taking a little bit of a breather. It's a lot. It's a lot. So, you know, I'm still making videos. I've just lowered the amount of videos I'm making every week just for a short period of time, probably just for the summer until my son goes back to school. And, you know, it's been nice to be a human and have a life and not constantly think about work and constantly work and create content all the time, which I'm not complaining. It's a dream job. It's really fun. I love being creative. I love hanging out with you. I love just talking about things that we're interested in, but it can be a lot sometimes. It can be a lot of pressure. It can be, you know, everybody needs a break. So I encourage you, definitely if you're feeling overwhelmed, you know, and you can take something off your plate, I highly recommend that you do that. Anyway, let's talk about favorites. I have a lot of favorites this month. There are a lot of new favorites, a lot of rediscovered favorites. You know how I roll. I always have a little bit of both. I do have a favorite book for the month and this is a little bit outside of my normal recommendations. This is a book of short stories and I actually found this book. It's called Up All Night because one of the stories in here is written by Leba Bray and I really enjoy her work. There are a few of her books that are on my top of the top favorites, which is Beauty Queens and Going Bovine. Highly recommend both of those books by Leba Bray, but I was searching for more work from her and I found this book of short stories. And when I first saw the cover and then heard the name, I thought it was gonna be horror or like scary stories, but it's really a collection of short stories that are all about staying up all night for like a bunch of different reasons. It's a very eclectic mix of stories. I like short story collections like this. It tends to be a quicker read, but you know, I just like mixing it up. This was really fun. Highly recommend pretty much anything by Leba Bray. I haven't read all of her work, but definitely recommend Beauty Queens and Going Bovine. So this was my favorite book for the month. I also have another non-beauty favorite and if you follow me on Instagram then you've already seen me talk about this but it's this Michael Kors bag. It does have three different strap options. So there's the top handle, there's this gold chain shoulder strap which is probably how I'm gonna wear it the most and then there is a long crossbody like black crossbody strap. I just think this is first of all such a good deal because this was originally priced at 398 American doll hairs <laughs> and I got it on sale for 79 so hopefully by the time I post this video it's still available. Sorry in advance if I'm telling you about how cute this is and how much I love it and what a good deal it is if you can't find it. It's just such a nice size. It's classic, so it's gonna go with everything. I can wear it casually with the crossbody. I can wear it more dressy with this little gold chain. And this is imitation leather. So my vegan friends, this is a cute bag option for you because this is not real leather. So even my vegan friends can rock this bag. Anyway, I just thought it was really cute. I know I don't talk about a lot of fashion items, but when I find something like this that I think has so much versatility, something I'm gonna be able to use for a really long time in a lot of different outfits, plus it's a really good deal. I just have to tell you. Man, I hope it's still in stock. I'm so sorry if it's not on sale. <laughs> All right, now for the beauty favorites. I have some non-makeup beauty favorites, and let me tell you, I've had so much fun, not just with new fashion items, but with makeup, because now that my husband and I are fully vaccinated, we've been actually going and 
doing stuff sometimes. I went out to dinner for the first time in like a year and a half with some friends and it was crazy and also really, really, really nice. And it was fun. A lot of these things that I'm gonna show you today were things that I was excited to wear to my dinner out. And the first is this fragrance. This is the Kayali Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. I'm so bad at describing scents, but I do really like spicy or sweet scents. I do not like really florally scents. I feel like I've talked about that before. This is giving me peppery spa. Spicy spa day is what I get. It definitely has a really crisp, fresh, almost soapy smell, but not in a bad way, in like a clean linen kind of way. But it does have that little hint of spiciness. It's interesting. It's not too much. I do like musky scents, but sometimes they're a little bit too overwhelming. And this is just got a great balance between like a musky spiciness but also a light freshness. I really like it. I am so sorry if that doesn't make any sense. Like I said, I'm not great at describing fragrance but I wore this on my little dinner date out with friends and now that I've been actually leaving the house it's been fun to really get back into wearing fragrance more so Oh, I just got the Utopia, the Kayali Utopia scent. I know I'm gonna love that. It literally just came in the mail and I'm so excited to use it because it has coconut notes and I love coconut. So stay tuned, maybe next month that'll be my favorite scent. Okay, now for nail polish. I couldn't pick just one. I did a little Zoya polish order. If you check the description box of any of my videos, I always list some of the makeup that I'm wearing and the nail polish that I'm wearing. And I have been wearing these Zoya polishes all month long. Why didn't anybody tell me how long these polishes last? <laughs> these look good for so long. It's crazy. So I have three shades here. This blue one's called Summer. This middle shade, the pink one is called Wanda. I think I wore this one for the longest. I'm pretty sure I wore this pink shade for at least 10 days straight, just looking really good. And then this last one is called Charity. It's the one I'm wearing on my nails right now. And it might be my favorite. I don't know. Every time I try to choose one as my favorite, I remember how much I like the other ones. These are so pretty. The colors are so vibrant. The Zoya Polish site is a little bit overwhelming because there are so many colors. It's kind of intimidating to go through and pick some, but oh man, I 112% blame Polish Lab Rat on Instagram. She has a YouTube channel as well. I'm gonna link her channel. She did a nail swatch of this summer color and then I just went down the rabbit hole and I ordered all of these. It's her fault. She has a great, very informative Instagram page and YouTube channel. Please check her out. If you like nail polish and you want somebody to encourage you to buy blue sparkly nail polish, go check out Polish Lab Rat. Now let's talk about some actual makeup that goes on your face. First of all, I have a skin tint combo that I've been wearing all month. I feel like for this moment in time, I have achieved the perfect skin base. And it's a mixture of the Huda Glowish Multi-Dew Skin Tint and the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. A 50-50 mix of these. I do about a half of a pea size of each of these and mix it together and that's what I've been wearing as my base all month. The Glowish Skin Tint is so beautifully casually sweaty and then the Maracuja Tinted Hydrator is so skin-like and moisturizing. I feel like these two combined is just perfect. The finish of the Tarte one is perfect and the shade is perfect. Then the glowish skin tint. It was a just a hair too dark for me and a little bit too shiny. It just needed the shine toned down like half a notch. So these two mixed together is, it's so pretty. It's perfect. I love it. This is, I barely even need any concealer because I feel like my skin just looks so fresh and bright and healthy and 
Oh, I could go on, but I'll stop. Okay, I also have a bronzer highlighter combo that I've been loving. Same as my skin tint combo. It's a new product and a rediscovered old favorite. And it is these two. First is the new Glowish Bronzer. When I first used this, my first impression was like, oh, it's nice, but you know, whatever, it's just a bronzer. The more I use it, the more I realize how much I love it. It looks so natural, it's so easy, it blends so effortlessly. It's just, man, a really darn good bronzer. I can make it subtle, I can literally do like one swipe of it and get a little subtle dimension to the face. I can build it up a little bit more and get a more intense or a more opaque bronze. I've been kind of lightly dusting this all over the forehead on the nose, just giving me an all over summery bronze goddess glowy look and every time I use this I like it more. Now here is a super shocking favorite. Okay I apologize. It's shocking not because it's a super shock. Obviously I love all things super shock but the shocking thing about this is which shade I've been reaching for. This is the shade Lunch Money Flexitarian has been my go-to for literally for years and I still love Flexitarian. It's a very intense, very, very like silvery, icy metallic highlighter and it will knock your socks off. Flexitarian is still beautiful, but Lunch Money is just a little bit softer, has a little bit of a golden undertone to it. I am already wearing highlighter, but I'm gonna just put some on. It's just got this little hint of warmth to it since I've been going for a more all over tanned, glowy, like I said, bronzed goddess look, this little bit of golden undertone has just really been working for me. And paired with the fact that I already just love this formula, I think probably half of the days that I wore makeup this month, I wore this. So that's pretty, pretty impressive. Other times I was probably reviewing something. All right, let's talk about my favorite eyeshadow palettes of the month. I have two, and I did do reviews on both of these. The video about this custom palette that I built from Lethal just went up not too long ago, but like I said, a lot of my videos were pre-filmed. So I've been using this for quite a while since that video was filmed, and this was what I wore when I went out on my little dinner date. Why is everything pink? I've got this pink and purple palette. I've got this pink perfume, pink and purple nail polishes. You, I think you can sense the theme. So if you wanna see swatches, see what shades are in here, I do have a video, I will link that below. Every time I make one of these, it's probably gonna end up in my favorites. The Lethal formulas are stunning, their colors are interesting, their palette builder's super fun. So this has been an obvious favorite. And when I wasn't wearing super shimmery pink and purple eyelids, I was wearing this. This is the Bronzed Rustic from Juvia's Place. Also have reviewed this pretty recently this month. I love the colors in here. I love that we are getting some brighter pops of color. I just use this whole bottom row here for really quick running out the door, quick neutral eye, but I'm a big fan of mustard yellow, so I've loved mixing that into my looks. This is just such a great, interesting, fun, very summer appropriate little take on a neutral palette. I have two lip products that I wore over and over and over again this month. Neither one of them are new. This is the Fenty Pro Kisser Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Latte Lips and this one is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Heat. This is the one I'm wearing today. I could not stop using these. I actually had to, you know it's a true favorite because I had to go hunt these down. They weren't just sitting in my makeup room. I had taken them with me. The, my lifter gloss was in my bag and then this Fenty one was upstairs on my bedside table because not only does this look really cute as a makeup item, but it's just so hydrating and so comfy that it, I carry it around my house and just wear it with no makeup sometimes. I won't rave about these too much because I know I've talked about them plenty in the past, but these were my two favorite lip colors of the month of June. 
So those are all of my favorite products this month. Now's the time when I want to hear what you enjoyed, favorite books, favorite fashion items, favorite nail polish, makeup, snacks, books. What? Who do you like to watch on TikTok? Tell us everything. Whatever you're enjoying, it's perfectly valid no matter what category it's in. I always love to hear what you're enjoying, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Well, that was way more complicated than it needed to be. What's new? Kind of my jam. Um, but I can't, you know, you, I, okay, okay, take two. I do like, what was I saying? It's going great. Killing it. I apologize. Let's move on. Last thing, I promise. I feel like I've been talking forever, but you know, I kind of missed filming, talking to you guys. Anyway, enough of that. Missed the ultra. Weird. That was weird. It was weird. Sorry, it was weird. Ooh. Okay, I just want to take a moment to show you this. Okay, I'm just experiencing... I think it's from stress. I've had a really hard month. But you know what? If you have little bumps and imperfections and pores and wrinkles on your forehead or anything, it's okay not to be comfortable with that. And if you want to get Botox and you want to wear full coverage, whatever it is, it's fine. However you deal with it is valid. And having those things does not mean there's anything wrong with you. Okay? I don't expect everybody to just perfectly accept all of their flaws or perceived flaws. I'm not able to do that all of the time, so I'm not gonna pretend like anybody else should do it all the time, but I'm just here to tell you because you probably don't hear this enough online. You're used to seeing beautifully filtered and airbrushed people all the time on your computer screen or your phone screen or whatever you're looking at right now. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's, they're doing their thing, that's fine too. But it's you, there's nothing wrong with you, okay? Having these bumps and these wrinkles and maybe it's scars or cystic acne or melasma or hyperpigmentation or scar, anything. There's nothing wrong with that. You, there's nothing wrong with you. It's normal. You don't have to love it. If you want to cover it up, that's fine. If you don't want to cover it up, that's fine. All of this to say, I love your face. And when I say that, I mean it, okay? I love your face. You're beautiful, you're adorable, you're smart, you're you're strong, you're sassy, you are you're a sexy beast. I love your face. Okay, bye.